So Nova, what's the name of this video? Our first ever Q&A video. Q&A, Q&A, step in time, Q&A, step in time, never be the reason, never be the wrong, Q&A, step in time. We just watched Mary Poppins and there are so many regrets. So uh, a few hours ago, we put on Facebook and Twitter that we're going to be recording a Q&A video and we asked for you to send us your questions and you did not let us down. Have you guys sent us some whoppers, some belly whoppers? So, um, I'm going to start on Twitter. Let's What's just a belly whopper? Okay, well I'll just start because I've got one right here. Okay. Um, well this is a really quick one. So Lauren, who's on Twitter, she sent us the very first question. She's, is that Fruit Shavakadu? She's at Fruit Shavakadu! She said, when can I come drink with you guys? So how about like half an hour? <laughs> Meet us right here. Can you get here? Right here. There's a spot outside for you. We've carved a little ground space for you. Okay, crash. Okay, also from Twitter, Joseph Hare, at Joseph Kevin Hare. Which of your videos did you have the most fun doing? I can tell you which video I had the least fun doing, and that's our food as makeup challenge. I think my least favorite video was probably the one where we went to Little Pecker's Chicken Farm. <laughs> Now, obviously, when we watched it back, you know, it's it's so much fun, it's great, it's one of our classics, but when we're actually there, it was really hot and sweaty mm. and it stank, and I hated my makeup, and the whole thing was just... What was your most favourite? I really loved when we did the baby food, funnily enough. I thought that was so much oh, fun. Oh, that was funny. I also liked the Bean Boozled one. That was horrible to play. Also, we can't not mention the drunk. This one tastes like crap episode that we did together. <laughs> that we were just hammered the whole way through. It was great. This one is um, okay. So, so Sophie Hannah. She's at Sophie Hannah on Twitter. She's one of our one of our absolute nearest and dearest. She sent two questions because she's a cheeky slut. <laughs> However, I'm going to answer both of them. Okay. So the first one was she just definitely sent three questions. Did you just okay. No, I just said she's just, and then you interrupted me. Do you call each other by your drag names out of drag? No. That's fucking weird. We're not on. We're not on the race, girlfriend. No, we don't. No, we don't do. Um. That. Okay. Next question from Sophie. Would either of you shoot the other one in the leg if it meant you both got a million pounds? Absolutely. And I would really hope you would do the same. I'd shoot her in the face for a fiver. What? The <laughs> that wasn't the question. You're so fucking Yes, mean. but it should obviously lead to an answer for that one. Ugh. What was her other question? Would you rather have to wear Coco One Cheese Star contacts for the rest of your life or have no legs? I mean, I've had <laughs> a good run with these, so you can have them. Does Coco One Cheese wear contacts? Oh, you yeah, know what? When all she the time. I'm not joking, bitch! Okay, who's the sappy romantic? That's by Aya Jab. Jarbadan. I don't think either of us are particularly romantic, I have to say. Um, she's certainly not romantic in any sense of the word, because well, she, very she expects me to do everything. Everything. You know, if I'm, if I'm, if he, she has ever initiated a hug in her life, it would be, you know, the rarest of the rare. It would be the articuno of hugs. Oh my god, listen her. to this bitch. Listen to this They do bitch. listen, they don't listen to you. Full of shit. Full of shit. Next question. Okay. Clefable Babel, amazing username. You are amazing, you're getting a follow. Um, would either of you ever consider trying out for Drag Race? Well, here's the thing. Like, obviously we'd send in a tape. <laughs> Wouldn't we send in a tape, you and I? Well, separately, obviously. You know, obviously. Obviously, I can't get away from it. Um, yes, yes, of course. Uh, you know, I wouldn't to... like right at this moment in time. I don't feel like my drag is ready for Drag Race, but I cannot fucking afford the so amount of drag you that you'd have to bring. So to... There are there are people that, um, in, if it's a UK version you're talking about. Um, oh, if it was the UK version, I would absolutely go for it. Oh yeah, well, we can't apply for the American one, England, not there. No, but like, if it was like just a standard Drag Race we're talking about, I don't feel like I'm at that level yet. But and even I don't feel in this like country, I could the drag to take with me. Either. Even in this country, you know, there are people who just blow blow me out of the water. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I'd like to think like I wouldn't be the first to go. We'll leave that there. We'll just put a, <laughs> we'll put a pin in that. Um, yeah, there are people, you know, in terms of makeup and stuff in this country. Um, anaphylactic puts together, you oh, know, a sickening look. The she Manchester would, Queen. They so would, good. Matt Cheddar Gorgeous. These Lil people Queen. would blow me out of the water. You know, when it comes to you know grace and humour, okay, you know, I've got the challenge one. <laughs> she laughed. I could do humour. I was a viral sensation. Okay. Oh dear. The answer is yes. I'd send in a tape. Um, Lauren Buckley, um, at Blue Hummingbird, and there's a one in the bird, and I love birds. So I'm going to follow you, Lauren, just because I love birds. What do you have set as your wallpapers on your phones? <laughs> I've your got wallpaper? a really embarrassing cute picture of Olympia as a drag. You can't show that. Well, I've just shown it. I think well, it's really cute. 
Now, mine need a little bit of explanation because, um, you know, if you... Oh my god. No, I'm not going to show that one because that's someone's oh. passport. I can't show that. Oh. I'll show this one. Oh, okay. But she's going to kill me. Our dear friend Megan Lois Bush, um, ooh, she's got a strange default face. It's a hard sell. It looks like she's smelt something really bad or she's listening to, you know, Laganja Stranger or something. Oh. Because this is the face she pulls. Um, and that's, oh, isn't that great? Look at it. That's, there's her default face. That's how she just looks all the time. And I love her for it. Speaking of romantic, I definitely have you as my wallpaper and you don't, so. I did. Right. Lucifer at Too Problematic wants to know, who was influenced your drag the most, XOXO? And then you tweet, I forgot to use the hashtag, I'm going to block myself. Hashtag Ask Novimpia. Hashtag Ask Novimpia. What was the question then? Who, who, who has influenced your drag the most? Mine is probably... Adore Delano, funnily enough. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so weird because I don't care for her. I completely get it though, you have like the same aesthetic. But not in terms of, not necessarily, okay yeah we do share a lot of the same, you know, aesthetic shit. But I think in terms of the way she does it, that she will throw on a shirt and call it a day. Stuff like that, like you don't have to put together a whole outfit kind of thing. That it's more kind of like, you know, broken down. That's what I really appreciate about her, that I have taken away from it. I would probably say, um, and I say this all the time, I would say Britney Spears. <laughs> and then also just like, just K-pop. Just K-pop like in general. I just like the, the colours and the fashion and just, yeah. I uh, had another question. Um, I thought it was my turn, bitch. Oh, well go on then. Thank you very much. Sarah Aldebi. Oh, are well, you not reading this one? What? Why are you? What? Mine's different to yours. Sarah Aldebi. And I'm sorry if I don't say your name correctly. You're friends with Detox, and we slagged her off. And then there was the fun and games there, but that's fine. Okay. So you put. What do you do with your lives besides drag? Work, hobbies. I mean, I can answer this one for both of us. Absolutely nothing. KFC. <laughs> Remember when someone did a drinking game, and it was take a shot if someone discusses getting KFC after filming. Yes, we do work, we have jobs. Um, I'm actually a hairdresser by day. And I have a degree in television production. Yeah, but, but work, what do you do though? But work in a shop. A retail shop. I'm a manager. And every day I, I want to kill someone. So Aya Jarbadan has got another question. If you had a different drag name, what would it be? Now, when I, before I did drag, I always, this, I'm so glad I never went with this, you would never let me anyway, because I really liked, this was also before Drag Race, I really liked the name Serena, purely because it, from Sailor Moon, but looking back that's fucking horrendous, so I'm so Serena. glad I didn't go with that. I don't mind Serena, oh because of Serena Cha Cha. Yeah, but I really like because, wait, what was, but what this was the is name? interesting Serena though, because something. what was your, what would your last name have been? I don't know, but I liked the Just idea Serena. of things being to do with like, galaxies and stars and like celestial things as as a name so well, now that i'm nova, with nova yeah but i really liked that idea for a theme but i thought serena was, was good and um, i would have i i liked sabrina spitfire that's good i quite liked that and um, obviously sabrina doesn't need any explanation and spitfire is just a really cool word i thought that's a good word um or what was the other one like i did want to dabble with avril but you just can't use that because people would look at you and just go oh. <laughs> And people do that anyway. So. Oh, Adore Del Gaga, otherwise known as Ho Olivia. Olivia, what's her name? Clark. Olivia Clark. So bloody cute. I can't get over it. Her question is, what's your fave drag look you've ever done? Um, do you know what I think my the best I think I've ever looked was, funnily enough, was it was one of our um, drag race revisiteds where I had that horrendous Native American thing on. You know the Native American oh, hairdress. Oh, when I was Spyro. Yes. Actually, having said that, that, I think, both together, we look pretty sick. My makeup was fucked. That's the best makeup and tit job I've ever done before, ever. Tit job. Outfit was appalling, but I thought the hair and the makeup was just, was the best I've ever done it. I really liked my mug that I had for the um, LSD gameplay video I did. That was I liked good. That. I like you when you have no colour whatsoever and it's all black. Just saying. Well, Ashley at Trash Pime Apple. What are your favourite and least favourite things about doing drag? So I hate putting it on. I hate putting it on. The it's process so of putting boring. it on. I literally just put this fringe on. I went to adjust it and half my eyebrow came off. <laughs> that is the most frustrating thing because sh nothing ever goes right. It's a pain in the fucking ass. 
but then it's uncomfortable. I love like when it's on, then like, I love taking pictures, I love doing videos, I love like doing things with it because it just looks cool when I like being in it. I like when you go out and you meet the children. I believe the children are. Whatever happened to just letting me finish a song? <laughs> Whatever happened to that? 